Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about include. The include function lets you load selected parts of a queue back into the programmer. Normally, only manual changes to fixtures are put in the programmer. You can then use this to make a new queue. This is useful if you want to make a queue which is similar to one you already have, or to build a new queue from various parts of other queues. It's also useful when editing shapes in queues. There are two modes, quick include and advanced include. Quick Include simply reloads the whole queue. Advanced Include allows you to specify which attributes of which fixtures you want to load into the programmer. So for example, if you have a queue which contains position, color, and go information for eight fixtures, you can choose the Include function to load only the color information for four of the fixtures into the programmer. You can then include position information from another queue into the programmer. You build up a new queue using information from several existing queues. If you include a chase or a queue list, the screen shows a list of queues within it, and you select the one you want to include using wheel A or by touching the queue. You can also type in the queue number to include. Press include, and then press quick include or advanced include on the soft keys if you want to change the mode. Press the select button of the queue you want to include into the programmer. If you're in quick include mode, this includes the queue and finishes. If you're in advanced include, all the fixtures in the queue will be selected. If you don't want them all, deselect fixtures you don't want. The fixtures in the queue are highlighted on the screen and on fixture buttons. Use set mask or distribute pink buttons to select which attributes you want to include. All are included by default. Soft key C turns them all off and soft key D turns them all on. Soft key E allows you to include or exclude shapes from the queue. You then press enter. The selected attributes of the selected fixtures will be loaded into the programmer. Repeat steps 2 through 6 to include other attributes for the same fixtures, or repeat steps 1 through 6 to include other fixtures. In quick include mode, you can set a mask for include by pressing one or more of the attribute bank buttons before you select the queue to include. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got version 14 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. So if I wanted to queue one of my queues down here, I could just hit the include key and we'll leave it on quick include. And then I can select this one here. And we see that all the fixtures and all the palettes used in that queue are loaded in. So we've got intensity, position, and color included from that playback. And we could make a change if we wanted to. Say we're going to change the color to yellow for everything. And then we record a new playback if we wanted. Or say we wanted from this one, we only wanted the color information from it. What we do is go ahead and hit include and set it to be color. So you see here we selected only the color attribute. And then we'll select this playback and see that it selected the fixtures and put the color into the programmer. And let's say we wanted to use this one's position. So we do the same thing. We could click include and we'll do position and intensity. And so we hear position and intensity have been selected and we'll select this queue. And we see that it set the position and intensity from that queue. If you wanted to use Advanced Include, I simply hit Include, change to Advanced Include, and select the playback we want. And then I can set my mask to be, let's say we just want Intensity and Position. And we only want it for the BMFLs. Then hit Include, and see it only brought our BMFLs and their Intensity and Position in the programmer color is left over from before. I can do that with another playback added in if I wanted to. Say I wanted the uh, the intensity and position from this playback for my beam 150s. I can simply hit include. Advanced include is fine. We'll select here. We'll set it to do again intensity and position on these fixtures and include and see that it pulls it in. Include is also helpful if you wish to edit a shape. Let's so go ahead and hit include again and we'll change it to quick include for this one. We could use an advanced if we wished, and we'll go ahead and select this one here, and we'll go ahead and change to our FX, or shapes, and now we can control our speed, size, and spread. We'll go ahead and change our size, we'll make it a little smaller. And if we're happy with that, we can then record it, or merge it back into our other one. We'll just go ahead and make it a new playback. And when we hit clear, we see we test it, and it works. If you want to include from a queue list, again, we just hit include. 
And we use Quick Include or Vans and Include. We'll use Quick Include for this one. And we'll choose this queue list here. And then we can choose which queue we want. We'll select Q5. I see it pulled that all in. So that has been using Include in version 14 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Ableance US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.